Hello everyone and welcome back. This is Tech Medic. Thank you for sharing your time with me today. And in today's video, I'm going to be sharing 10 of my top 10 Red Dead Redemption 2 mods that are going to go ahead and enrich the world and also offer a level of replayability to you. So if you're not familiar with playing mods, you can go ahead and watch my video, which will be in the description, to go ahead and check out how to correctly install these. So coming in at number 10 is all weapons unlocked. This mod will go ahead and unlock all the weapons from the start so You'll that you can go ahead and enjoy your journey. This will go ahead and allow you to buy from the catalog any of these weapons. And going forward, you're going to have access to all the side equipments as well for holsters as well as the bandoliers. <laughs> coming in at number 9, we have gold panning. So on your map, you're going to get little indications like this where you can walk up to them. And you can go ahead and hit your R key. And gold panning will allow you to pan for gold in these certain bodies of water. What you're going to need to do is pick up one of these buckets. I think it's the one over here. And once you do so, you can go ahead and take this to the water in which it's going to gather the material in order to go ahead and use the sluice box. But you need to have the water deep enough in order to go ahead and do this. So the animations play out very nice. And it gives you an opportunity to earn gold nuggets this way. You could sometimes find bullets, you could find other material inside of this. But most of the time it's going to be pretty fair. Into where it's going to be a nugget or it's just going to be a bunch of pebbles. Coming in at number 8 we have the mod weapon locker so weapon locker will go ahead and allow you to access with a new feature inside of your camp by pressing h you can go ahead and equip any armament that you want so that you can go ahead and use it out in the field coming in at number seven we have hunting grounds so hunting grounds is a mod that goes ahead and modifies the way that herds behave and the way that animals are visually displayed as you can see here we have a number of three star two star and one star animals now this mod does enable population control so that if you overhunt the three star you're gonna have to wait till they replenish but that's just one of those world immersion gameplay mechanics that i personally like inside of red dead redemption 2. coming in at number six we have bounties expanded bounties expanded will go ahead and let you redo any of the bounty missions inside of the game as well as new bounty missions that will pop up from time to time keep in mind that there is a limit of only one per town so that when you have one going that is either posted on the poster board here or outside on the notification wall, you can go ahead and grab those and complete those at any time. So coming in at number five, we have a combo, which is bandana and the no bounty with bandana mod. What you can go ahead and do with this is you can go ahead and get into trouble and the bandana mod will prevent you from losing any honor as well as gaining honor so that you can go ahead and hijack any number of different things that you have inside of the game and there'll be witnesses to go ahead and see that you have assaulted someone once they go ahead and run into town you just go ahead and drag this guy in why the heck not go ahead and alert the law and since we're wearing our bandana here they witnessed a crime Arthur Morgan but all we have to do is just run outside wait for everything to cool off so as we wait for this wanted to go ahead and end we want to make sure that we keep the bandana on as long as possible so that we can go ahead and see that we have no bounty we are identified as Arthur Morgan we committed a crime by dragging a guy on the back of uh, our horse and we enabled ourselves to go ahead and eliminate the bounty on our heads which should be around like 50 bucks for committing a murder or something like that but this mod helps you go ahead and do that keep in mind that you will not gain any honor gain when you do a good deed so this mod goes hand in hand again it's the bandana mod and the no bounty with bandana 
So coming in at number four is the no sliding mod. The no sliding mod allows you to do just that. So any heal that would previously cause your character to go ahead and start sliding will not do so. Keep in mind that this mod will go ahead and allow Arthur Morgan to traverse some terrain that would otherwise make him slip. Your horse will follow you into some of this difficult terrain and they run the risk of sliding off because this mod only focuses on the character's ability to do that. Your horse could potentially die, so it's good to go ahead and um, hitch him up and you will be able to go ahead and explore all these crazy different mountains. So coming in at number three, we have stagecoaches and an additional combo, which is ambient money wagons. You can go to any host and you can go ahead and get a tip for a robbery. And what this will do is it'll place an icon on your minimap. And you can go to the location. Okay, boy. So once you get to the mission destination, you're just gonna have to wait around for the stagecoach to arrive. And we can see it approaching here. It's gonna have a couple of armed guards. You will not get any honor um, drops in this. And all we need to do. Let's go ahead and rob this stagecoach with all its loot in it. And we'll be able to go ahead and deliver the wagon to the location. Okay, so we've arrived here at the location. We can go ahead and jump off and the mission will be complete. And that's all there is to it. So we made $720 yeah. for that. The ambient money wagons are similar to that, except they're going to be heavily armed and they're going to be uh, able to be robbed with a lockbox on the stagecoach itself so that you can go ahead and set in the INI file of the configuration any amount that you wish, anywhere from zero to $9,000 if you want. Coming in at number two, we have bandit camps. Bandit camps will go ahead and take assets that were previously utilized inside of the game and make them more relevant so that you can explore them. They are now inhabited by enemy factions. Depending on which region you're in, you can go ahead and expect to find many of these locations on the map. They do have a spawn interval and there is the ability to add reinforcements so that you can go ahead and pick a fight with these guys whenever you want. So coming in at number one is perfect pelts. What it allows you to do is shoot any animal with any weapon and still maintain the pelt quality. So as you can see, we shot this cougar with three shotgun rounds and we're still having the three star quality. We can go ahead and collect these materials and this will help out a lot with getting Legends of the East Satchel, especially if you're hunting the Jaguar down in um, the roads area. So that concludes the top 10 mods for Red Dead Redemption 2. I do have an installation video that you can go ahead and check out on my channel. You can also like, subscribe, comment, anything that you have questions for and I'll try to get back to you as soon as possible. Also I do have a Patreon in which I do have a save for this game that you can go ahead and utilize. It is a fresh save that starts out with the Legends of the East Satchel. There's about 20 some percent complete on it and that's just mainly to get the exploration out of the way to get the pelts. As soon as you enter Valentine all the missions are there for you to go ahead and undertake. And that's been my video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Have a nice day.